Welcome to the next section of semi-supervised and unsupervised learning. In this section, we'll be seeing how to build an unsupervised model, how to evaluate an unsupervised model. Then we'll be seeing what is semi-supervised learning, what is the difference between unsupervised and semi-supervised learning, how to build a semi-supervised model, and how to make predictions using semi-supervised model. So let's quickly come down to how to build a clustering model. We'll be building unsupervised model using k-means clustering. So let's quickly come down to the code and see how this is done. So this time we'll be taking our instance class, our data source class that we have been taking since long. Since this time we are doing clustering, so we'll look at baker.clusters package and from there we'll be taking a simple k-means class. We'll first read our R file into our dataset object. We'll assign it to an instance object. Now since this is all that we have to do in classification, we had to also assign the target variable, the class attribute. We have to tell Vika what the class attribute is. Then we'll create an object for our k-means clustering. Since we have done this, we have to first provide Vika as to how many clusters that we want to create. So let's say we want to create three clusters. So we'll take our k-means object and we say set num clusters to three. Then we'll build a, cl a cluster using build cluster and we'll assign the data set onto which this cluster will be done and we'll print our model. Let's see what happens. So on running it, initially three clusters were created with these three initial values. After doing this, the finally these three clusters were created. So it has seven values. This first cluster, the zeroth cluster has seven values with these and the first cluster had three values and the second cluster had four values. Clustering actually tries to, since we are not providing a class to our clustering algorithm, it tries to group the similar looking data into clusters, into groups. And we, we call them as clusters. So these are the clusters that have been created. These are the groups that have been created for similar looking data. This is how clustering is done. 